Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads that uh, the rod OA rotates clockwise with a constant angular velocity of uh, 6 rads per second. The two pin uh, connected slider blocks located at B move freely uh, on OA and uh, the curved rod whose shape is uh, a lima cone described by the equation R equal to 200 open brackets 2 minus cos theta close brackets. Determine the speed of uh, slider blocks at the instant theta equal to 50, 150. And in the follow up problem, determine the magnitude of the acceleration of the slider blocks. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and uh, Dynamics, a 14th edition by RC Kibela. So let's quickly go to the first case, which is 4 172. Right. So in this particular problem, we have been asked to determine the speed of uh, the slider blocks, uh, um, which is the magnitude of our velocity at the instant t equal to 150. So we know that our speed magnitude itself is just equal to, uh, this is equal to, This is equal to VR squared plus V theta squared. So we have uh, the radio and uh, the transverse components. And uh, we've been told, and we know that our VR is just equal to um, R dot, and our V theta is equal to R theta dot and we know that our R is equal to 200 this is in millimeters so we divide it by a thousand okay so once we do so then the, this becomes a 0 0.2 uh, 2 minus cos theta okay therefore our R dot just becomes equal to 0 0.2 okay then theta dot Okay, then this just becomes a positive sine theta. Right. Um, then what do we have? Then we've been told that angular velocity is constant. Okay, since uh, um, theta dot equal to 6 rads is constant. Therefore, we expect theta double dot to be equal to zero. Okay, just wanted to make mention of this. Right, so there we are. Um, so let's work out. So our VR, therefore, is just going to be equal to at 150. Our VR at 150 degrees is equal to. So we are using uh, this equation here, R dot, and we know what R dot is here, okay? So just grab the calculator and start working it up. So we have a point two, point two, mind you, sorry. This one is negative since look at the direction. Uh, so we have this as our transverse coordinate. And uh, this as our uh, the two are perpendicular. So we write this. All right, something like so. So let me make mention of something that I almost forgot. This is theta, and then this is uh, our R. So this is negative here. This is negative. Okay. The reason is. Um, is minus 6 okay because seen it's going in the opposite direction have you seen this so it's against our assumed coordinate so this becomes a negative all right so theta r i mean v r or v sub r is point to uh times negative 6 uh times sine 150 okay 
this is just equal to minus 0 0.0.6 uh, 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.6 uh, meters per second okay then we have a v theta at 150 so it's r we know what r is it's 0.2 by 2 minus cos 150 then times theta dot which is just a minus 6 so this gives us a minus 3.44 meters per second uh, so with the two uh, we are able to find the magnitude we know that this is just equal to vr squared plus v theta squared and therefore our v is just going to be equal to our v is equal to um, 0.6 squared plus 3.44 squared and the square root of that we have a 3.49 meters per second so initially let me use red uh, initially uh, we had uh, our theta I mean our VR our VR let me use blue our VR we had a component in this direction sorry our V theta uh, this is our, our V theta okay and then our VR we had a component in this direction all right so this is our this is our v r and this is our, our v theta therefore our result our resultant is 3.44 closer to v r somewhere there like so of course which is supposed to be tangential to uh, the curve so this is our v okay all right this is our v right so we are done with this part let's go to case number two so case two which is a curve dash 173 um, what do we have here let me create a boundary like so uh, what we have here is it's a continuation they are asking us to find the acceleration magnitude of our acceleration which is just a equal to uh, a r squared plus a theta squared Okay, where our AR is just equal to um, R double dot minus um, R uh, theta dot square, and our A theta is just equal to R theta double dot plus two R dot theta dot. You can check on how to derive this. All right so let's find our other double dot we can find it from uh, this okay using the product rule right so let's fact out uh, the point two so we'll have theta double dot uh, sine theta n plus uh, theta uh, dot squared uh, cos theta huh. what else mm, of course we know that our theta uh, double dot is equal to zero because uh, theta dot is uh, because theta dot is constant okay theta dot equal to minus six is 
constant right so we have everything right let's work it out so th therefore a at 150 degrees we can work it out again we're using this equation all right let's go so we have uh, a minus 2 i mean point 2 open bracket is a double dot that just becomes a zero so all this part here all this part is zero all right so it's just point two open bracket and point two times theta dot which is just minus uh, squared which just becomes uh, six squared times cos uh, one fifteen right and minus r r is point two two minus uh, two minus uh, cos one fifteen okay times theta dot which is just again six squared right so this gives us a minus this one is equal to minus um minus 26 point uh 87 okay i can repeat it once more again um, point two uh, by six squared by cos 115 uh, minus a point two two minus cos 115 uh, times six square right then a theta at 150 degrees this is just going to be equal to ara uh, what is our ara our ara is point two uh, two minus cos 115 like so times zero so this part again this part here is zero this is zero okay so this just gives us is a two times r dot which is point two uh, times minus six okay times sine 115 right okay so that's 2 by point 0.2 uh, minus 6 that then times theta dot again which is minus 6 again okay is that fine so this gives us a 7.2 which is uh, 7. Point let me check it out again so we have a 2 times r dot which is times 0.2 and minus 6 um, by sine 115 and then times uh, theta dot which is again minus 6 okay 7.2 so there we go so a is just equal to square root of uh, square root of a r squared plus a theta squared therefore our a is just equal to let's plug in those values we have a 26.87 squared plus 7.2 squared then square root of that we get a 27 27.82 meters per second so let's draw what this looks like here uh, so we do have component along R which is a negative so we have this value here and then we do have another value uh, positive along this direction like so Okay, and we have the result. We 
have the result uh, which is closer to an error right mm -hmm. so we have a result somewhere there like so okay So this one here is uh, our A, and then we have uh, this as our A theta, right? And this one here is our A R. All right. And then let's just outline the solution. We have uh, the magnitude of our velocity, which is the speed. All right. And we do have. Uh, the magnitude of uh, our acceleration, right? Okay, so I think this is about it, and I hope this video is helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, consider subscribing, and like my channel. Bye bye, and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.